Wrestling is a combat sport involving grappling-type techniques such as clinch fighting, throws and takedowns, joint locks, pins and other grappling holds. A wrestling bout is a physical competition between two competitors or sparring partners who attempt to gain and maintain a superior position. There are a wide range of styles with varying rules with both traditional historic and modern styles. Wrestling techniques have been incorporated into other martial arts as well as military hand-to-hand -hand combat systems. The term wrestling is attested in late Old English as race lunge. History Wrestling represents one of the oldest forms of combat. Literary references to it occur as early as in the Iliad, in which Homer recounts the Trojan War of the 13th or 12th century BC. The origins of wrestling go back 15,000 years through cave drawings in France. Babylonian and Egyptian reliefs show wrestlers using most of the holds known in the present-day sport. In ancient Greece wrestling occupied a prominent place in legend and literature. Wrestling competition, brutal in many aspects, served as the focal sport of the ancient Olympic Games. The ancient Romans borrowed heavily from Greek wrestling, but eliminated much of its brutality. During the Middle Ages wrestling remained popular and enjoyed the patronage of many royal families, including those of France, Japan and England. Early European settlers in America brought a strong wrestling tradition with them if they came from England. The settlers also found wrestling to be popular among Native Americans. Amateur wrestling flourished throughout the early years of the North American colonies and served as a popular activity at country fairs, holiday celebrations, and in military exercises. The first organized national wrestling tournament took place in New York City in 1888, and wrestling has been an event at every modern Olympic Games since the 1904 Games in St. Louis, Missouri. The international governing body for the sport, United World Wrestling, was established in 1912 in Antwerp, Belgium as the International Federation of Associated Wrestling Styles. The first NCAA wrestling championships were also held in 1912 in Ames, Iowa. USA Wrestling, located in Colorado Springs, Colorado, became the national governing body of amateur wrestling in 1983. It conducts competitions for all age levels. Mythology Some of the earliest references to wrestling can be found in wrestling mythology. The Epic of Gilgamesh Gilgamesh established his credibility as a leader after wrestling in Kiju. Greek mythology celebrates the rise of Zeus as ruler of the earth after a wrestling match with his father, Cronus. Both Heracles and Theseus were famous for their wrestling against man and beast. The Mahabharata describes a maladwandwa between the accomplished wrestlers Bhima and Jarasundha. Rustam of the Shah Namer is regarded by Iranian Pahlavans as the greatest wrestler by country. In Pharaonic Egypt, wrestling has been evidenced by documentation on tombs and Egyptian artwork. Greek wrestling was a popular form of martial art, at least in ancient Greece. Oil wrestling is the national sport of Turkey and it can be traced back to Central Asia. After the Roman conquest of the Greeks, Greek wrestling was absorbed by the Roman culture and became Roman wrestling during the period of the Roman Empire. Shui Zhao, a wrestling style originating in China, which according to legend, has a reported history of over 4,000 years. Arabic literature depicted Muhammad as a skilled wrestler, defeating a skeptic in a match at one point. The Byzantine Emperor Basil I, according to court historians, won in wrestling against a boastful wrestler from Bulgaria in the 8th century. In 1520 at the Field of the Cloth of Gold pageant, Francis I of France threw fellow King Henry VIII of England in a wrestling match. The Lancashire style of folk wrestling may have formed the basis for catch wrestling, also known as catchers catchkin. The Scots later formed a variant of this style, and the Irish developed the collar and elbow style which later found its way into the United States.
a Frenchman, is generally credited with reorganizing European loose wrestling into a professional sport, Greco-Roman wrestling. This style which was finalized by the 19th century, and by then, wrestling was featured in many fairs and festivals in Europe. Modern Greco-Roman wrestling and modern freestyle wrestling were soon regulated in formal competitions, in part resulting from the rise of gymnasiums and athletic clubs. On continental Europe, prize money was offered in large sums to the winners of Greco-Roman tournaments, and freestyle wrestling spread rapidly in the United Kingdom and in the United States after the American Civil War. Wrestling professionals soon increased the popularity of Greco-Roman and freestyle wrestling worldwide. Greco-Roman wrestling became an event at the first modern Olympic Games in Athens in 1896. Since 1908, the event has been in every Summer Olympics. Freestyle wrestling became an Olympic event in 1904. Women's freestyle wrestling was added to the Summer Olympics in 2004. Since 1921, United World Wrestling has regulated amateur wrestling as an athletic discipline, while professional wrestling has largely become infused with theatrics but still requires athletic ability. Today, various countries send national wrestling teams to the Olympics, including Russia, Iran, Turkey, Mongolia, Azerbaijan, Gambia, the United States and several ex-USSR nations. International Disciplines Wrestling disciplines, as defined by UWW, are broken down into two categories, international wrestling disciplines and folk wrestling disciplines. UWW currently recognizes six wrestling disciplines in all. Three are Olympic disciplines, Greco-Roman wrestling, men's freestyle wrestling and female wrestling. The other three are amateur pancreation, belt wrestling, alish and beach wrestling. Greco-Roman Greco-Roman is an international discipline and an Olympic sport. In Greco-Roman style, it is forbidden to hold the opponent below the belt to make trips and to actively use the legs in the execution of any action. Recent rule changes in Greco-Roman increase opportunities for and place greater emphasis on explosive, high-amplitude throws. Pinning one's opponent to the mat is one way of winning. One of the most well-known Greco-Roman wrestlers is Alexander Karolin from Russia. Freestyle wrestling Freestyle wrestling is an international discipline and an Olympic sport for both men and women. This style allows the use of the wrestler's or his opponent's legs in offense and defense. Freestyle wrestling has its origins in catchers catch can wrestling and the prime victory condition in this style involves the wrestler winning by throwing and pinning his opponent on the mat. American high school and college wrestling is conducted under different rules and is termed scholastic and collegiate wrestling. Amateur pancreation pancreation, from the Greek words pan and kratos meaning the one who controls everything, is a world heritage martial art with the distinction of being the only martial sport in the ancient Olympic Games from 648 BC to 393 AD. Modern amateur pancreation is a form of mixed martial arts that incorporates techniques from multiple systems. Matches are fought with both grappling holds and by striking techniques. Beach wrestling UWW, then known as Fila, codified the current form of beach wrestling in 2004. Beach wrestling is standing wrestling done by wrestlers, male or female, inside a sand-filled circle measuring 6 meters in diameter. The wrestlers wear swimsuits rather than special wrestling uniforms. Wrestlers may also wear spandex or athletic shorts. The objective is to bring the opponent to the ground, push them out of bounds or pin their shoulders to the ground. Folk style disciplines Folk wrestling describes a traditional form of wrestling unique to a culture or geographic region of the world that Fila does not administer rules. 4. Examples of the many styles of folk wrestling include backhold wrestling, Cumberland wrestling and catchers Kachkan, Karash from Uzbekistan, Gushtin Jiri from Tajikistan, Koresh from Siberia, Lotta Kampadanese from Italy, Koshti Palavani from Iran, Naban from Myanmar, Pelwani from India.
Penjang Gulat from Indonesia, Schwingen from Switzerland, Tigel from Ethiopia, Shui Jiao from China, and SSIRIUM from Korea. Folk wrestling styles are not recognized as international styles of wrestling by Fila. Oil wrestling Oil wrestling, also called Greece wrestling, is the Turkish national sport. It is so called because the wrestlers douse themselves with olive oil. It is related to Uzbek Karash, Tuvan Koresh and Tata Koras. The wrestlers, known as Pehalvan meaning champion, wear a type of hand-stitched lederhosen called a kisbet which are traditionally made of water buffalo hide, and most recently have been made of calf skin. Unlike Olympic wrestling, oil wrestling matches may be won by achieving an effective hold of the kisbert. Thus, the Perhalvan aims to control his opponent by putting his arm through the latter's kisbert. To win by this move is called Parker Kazik. Originally, matches had no set duration and could go on for one or two days, until one man was able to establish superiority. But in 1975 the duration was capped at 40 minutes for the Bas Bay Levan and 30 minutes for the Pelavan category. If no winner is determined, another 15 minutes, 10 minutes for the Pelavan category of wrestling ensues, where RIN scores are kept to determine the victor. The annual Kirkpinar tournament, held in Edirne in Turkish Thrace since 1362, is the oldest continuously running, sanctioned sporting competition in the world. In recent years this style of wrestling has also become popular in other countries. Collegiate Wrestling Collegiate wrestling is the commonly used name of wrestling practiced at the college and university level in the United States. This style, with modifications, is also practiced at the high school and middle school levels, and also for younger participants. The term is used to distinguish the style from other styles of wrestling used in other parts of the world, and from those of the Olympic Games, Greco-Roman wrestling, and freestyle wrestling. Some high schools in the U.S. have developed junior varsity and freshman teams alongside varsity teams. Junior varsity and freshman wrestling teams restrict competitors not only by weight, but also by age and the amount of wrestling a competitor can partake in. For example, some junior varsity and freshman competitors are not allowed in tournament competition due to the amount of mat time a wrestler would accrue in a short time period. There are currently several organizations which oversee collegiate wrestling competition. Divisions I, II, and III of the NCAA, the NJCAA, the NIA, and the NCWA. NCAA Division I wrestling is considered the most prestigious and challenging level of competition. A school chooses which athletic organization to join. Although it may compete against teams from other levels and organizations during regular season competition, the collegiate season starts in October or November and culminates with the NCAA tournament held in March. Sambo Sambo is a martial art that originated in the Soviet Union in the 20th century. It is an acronym for self-defense without weapons in Russian and had its origins in the Soviet armed forces. Its influences are varied, with techniques borrowed from sports ranging from the two international wrestling styles of Greco-Roman and freestyle to judo, jiu-jitsu, European styles of folk wrestling, and even fencing. The rules for sport sambo are similar to those in competitive judo, with a variety of leg locks and defense holds from the various national wrestling styles in the Soviet Union, while not allowing choke holds. Professional wrestling. Professional competitive wrestling is uncommon. Anglo-American professional wrestling. American professional wrestling is organized by bodies such as WWE, TNA and ROH. It has traditionally been based on catch wrestling holds. Fights are highly theatrical, with dramatic stories such as feuds between fighters developed and performed as part of build-up and promotion for matches. Purorizu Japanese professional wrestling, also known as Purorizu, is treated more as a sport than the entertainment style of wrestling common in North America. There are fewer and less contrived storylines and angles. 
The matches have the atmosphere of real wrestling competition. Techniques include use of amateur or shoot wrestling tactics in addition to hard-hitting martial arts strikes and complex submission maneuvers. This means that the wrestlers are more prone to injury. Popular Japanese wrestlers include Riki Dozan, Giant Barber, Antonio Inoki, Mitsuharu Misawa, Kenta Kobashi, Shinya Hashimoto and Keiji Muto. Lucha Libra Mexican Professional Wrestling, also known as Lucha Libra, is a style of wrestling using special holds. Most performers, known as luchadors, begin their careers wearing masks, but most will lose their masks during their careers. Traditionally a match involves the best of three rounds, with no time limit. Each luchador uses his own special wrestling style or SD loader lucha, consisting of aerial attack moves, strikes and complex submission holds. Popular luchadors in Mexico and Puerto Rico are El Santo, Blue Demon, Mil Mascaras, Pero Aguayo, Carlos Colon, Conan, La Parca and Mystico. Several wrestlers who performed in Mexico also had success in the United States, including Eddie Guerrero, Rey Mysterio and Dos Cares Jr., Alberto Del Rio. Mixed Martial Arts Competition The rapid rise in the popularity of mixed martial arts has increased interest in wrestling due to its effectiveness in the sport. It is considered one of three core disciplines in MMA together with kickboxing and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Already in the early stages of MMA development, wrestling gained respect due to its effectiveness against traditional martial artists. Wrestlers, Dan Seven, Don Fry, Mark Coleman, Randy Couture and Mark Kerr went on to win early Ultimate Fighting tournaments. Ken Shamrock won the first UFC Superfight Championship in the UFC and was also the first King of Pancras in Japan. UFC color commentator Joe Rogan stated, I personally think that the very best skill for MMA is wrestling. I think that's the number one base to come from because those guys just flat out dictate where the fight takes place, standing or on the ground. There is no better base for entering into mixed martial arts than the highly successful competitor as a wrestler. The competitive wrestlers, the highly successful amateur wrestlers have such tremendous mental toughness. If you can just get through the room, the wrestling room practices at like really high-level universities. NCAA Division I teams, those guys are savages. The stuff they go through, just the overtraining, just the mental toughness that you have to develop currently. Six out of eight UFC men's division champions come from a wrestling background. Other successful fighters in modern MMA who began their training in various forms of wrestling include former lightweight champion Frank Edgar, 2000 Olympic silver medalist Yoel Romero, 2009 world champion Ben Askren, former Olympic wrestler Daniel Cormier, Brock Lesnar, a former UFC heavyweight champion who was a NCAA wrestling champion in 2000 and former lightweight champion Dan Henderson who competed extensively in collegiate and Greco-Roman wrestling before beginning his career in mixed martial arts.